What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode number 59. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, on this episode of My Name Halls, we do have this massive box right here. I say massive because uh, because that's the word I like to use, alright? I like to use the word massive because, you know, like that's pretty massive. I mean, if you compare it to one WWE figure, I mean, you could fit, you could fit a whole slew of figures in there. So I'm going to call it massive, and uh, yeah, it's massive. So what we got here is this massive box from my boy, the underscore 2019 underscore kid. Um, he hit me up and said, hey, bro, I want to send you some fan mail. So we have a big old box of fan mail here today that I'm very excited to open. I don't know what's inside. I believe it's a bunch of loose WWE action figures, and we're going to, you know, open this thing up and see what we have inside. I'm very excited. You know, uh, we probably have some cool custom parts in here. We have some figures that we can use, and you guys are going to be just as surprised as me as I open the box here. And uh, this is episode 59 of My Name Hall, so you all guys already know what's up. We are going to have the good old trusty knife coming back in here and cutting open another package in his career. Uh, he just turned one years old on Christmas Day, so that's what's up. He did. We did not get a new trusty knife. Same old one. Gonna keep this one for as long as it, you know this thing can go. But let's go ahead and crack this hoe open. So you guys know how it is. The only way to crack open the box is with the good old trusty knife a So we're just gonna cut the box open just like so. Give it a spin a rooney, give it a cut see on this side, spin a rooney, cut it on the top, and now let's open this bitch up and see what we got in here. Alright, so we're gonna close off the box because I don't want to see what's in here. It says, hey Trey, love your videos, keep up the work. 2019 is going to be your year. I put in some more figures in there for you. Hope you have a great day. But there you can see it's from at the underscore 2019 underscore kid. Thank you so much, bro. Um, I believe his name was Gary. Is it Gary or was it Guy? I'm sorry, bro. The, the, the text on the box was sort of fuzzy and I could not read it properly. But let's go ahead and crack this box open. We're going to see what we got in here again. Uh, I don't know what's in here. Uh, he says he threw in some extras, but here we go. The first figure that we do have is the Elite 29 or is it Elite 27? You guys help me out down in the comment section. Is it Elite 29 or 27? Fandango. They always made this dude super jack for no reason, but he only has two figures. I already have two of the Elite 61 now, so now we have three uh, Elite Fandangos. I think I used him for fodder parts earlier, and then I ended up selling him. So we have an Elite Fandango. We have a figure that I no longer have in my collection, but it looks like we got him back here. We have the Defining Moments Razor Ramon. We've had quite a few figures of Razor Ramon. It looks like he has a hand or a arm swap here. I believe he had bare arms before. So that's pretty cool. There is a arm swap on here. Not a big deal. He's super duper loose. His legs are all loosey goosey. Loosey goosey, baby. Loosey goosey. But uh, I can actually fix that, so that's not a big problem to me. But I'm happy to have this figure back in my collection. Thank you so much to Gary Guy 2019 Kid. The next figure that we do have is Holy Christ on a Cycle, Brad. Look at that right there. Not only did we get the Elite 17, 16. Can't remember what effing series. 14? Can't remember what series. But he threw in the Internet Championship. And I actually used this to create my MDT United States Championship. And then I was like, you know what? I'll probably never get that effing figure back in my collection. And bam, there it freaking is. Internet Championship from Zack Ryder. That is sick AF. And I'm actually happy that you sent me this because this is the only Elite Zack Ryder I did not have. I used to have it. Um, well, I guess I do have it, but I pulled his head off made a custom out of it, and then I stuck him in the crowd. So now he's a random Cody Rhodes crowd member. So now I have him back in the collection. We can put him back up on the Zack Ryder shelf. Epic ass internet championship with our epic Elite 14, 16, 17, whatever the crap series it is, Zack Ryder. Our next figure that we have is an Elite 43 Kofi Kingston. I actually have quite the number of Kofi Kingston Elite figures, if you guys can believe that. I believe you have seen that before. Um, he's really good for fodder. You can use the uh, the kick pads for white um, for white attires. You can use his lower legs for white attires and stuff, so that's really awesome that we get another Kofi Kingston. He actually threw in the vest, too, so thank you, bro, for that figure. 
The next figure that we do have is an Elite 53 Kevin Owens with a Kevin Owens t-shirt on there. Very nice Kevin Owens. I can use this to make one of my mini custom Owens that I have to make. So thank you, bro. Kevin Owens, one of my favorite wrestlers. Epic AF figure. Uh, really awesome. Cannot wait for the Elite 66 one. Uh, it's got the Fight Anyone, and then it's got the WrestleMania 3, or KO Mania 3. What are you, stupid Brad? Kevin Owens wasn't even born when WrestleMania 3 happened. Actually, he might have been. I can't even remember. I, I don't know how old Kevin Owens is. The next figure that we do have is another Kevin Owens. So not only do we have the Elite 53, but we have the Elite 43. So you guys let me know down in the comment section below. You like the first ever Elite Kevin Owens, or you like the Elite 53, which would be the third ever Elite Kevin Owens? Which one? I, it's definitely this one. It's not even close. If you voted for this one, you, you're dumb. It's, it's this one by far. Next up, we do have an Elite Big Dog. We got the Elite 38 Roman Reigns with an arm swap. I think he put a rock arm over here. Is that what that is? I believe that is a rock arm. And uh, pretty cool. You know, you could use this for a fist, Roman Reigns. Uh, you know, they, they have never given Roman Reigns a close fist, which is so stupid. You know, he does a little cock hammer thing with his fist. He also does the Superman punch, and they've never given him a fisted hand. So that is actually insane, but... Thank you for the extra big dog. I think this makes my 20th Roman Reigns Elite. So we have that. We have the phenomenal AJ Styles with a custom vest. It looks like this is a custom vest. Um, this is a Elite Edge vest, it looks like, uh, or entrance coat, and he just cut it there to size. So that's pretty wicked. You got uh, Elite 47, the first time in the line AJ Styles Elite. And it looks great. Really happy with this. I can use it for customs. This actually makes my fifth of this figure. I have five of these now. So thank you for that. I can use them for customs. I can do fix-ups and stuff with AJ Styles. So we have an Elite 47 AJ Styles. The next figure that we do have is the Elite. Is this Jimmy or Jay? You know what? So I don't screw it up. We have Jimmy and Jay. I think this one's Jimmy and this one's Jay, but I'm not sure. I always usually figure it out by the cross tattoo. I think the one with the cross tattoo is Jay. So we have the Elite Usos, the first versions. Very nice figures. I like these a lot. You know, you can use them for... This is my second pair of these now. I've owned them three times, but I sold the first pair or did something with the first pair. I think I sold them. Uh, so, so we have our third pair of Elites now um, in this attire that I've ever owned. And the second one's in the collection. So this looks beautiful. Love these elites. You can use them for, you know, hooligans, customs. You can use them for CM Punk in the indies. You can use them for a lot of stuff. So really happy with these Usos. The next figure that we do have is a figure that I've never owned before. I never owned this figure before, so I'm very happy to add it to the collection. We have Elite 52 D'Lo Brown. Don't know why I've never owned this figure, just never found a reason to grab it, but I'm glad we have it now. So thank you so much to the 2019 kid for this epic figure. We got the bulletproof vest, Nation of Domination attire. Did he come with open knee pads? I feel like he didn't have knee pads on. He may have. I may just be really stupid, but we have D'Lo Brown, very first time in my collection. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, the next figure that we have is, holy Christ, a Elite 45 Seth freaking Rollins. One of my favorite figures Mattel has ever done in the 2015 SummerSlam attire. I uh, never get tired of this figure. I think this makes my fifth now, and it's like my seventh that I've owned or something. I don't even know, but uh, you guys know how I feel about Seth Rollins. One of my favorite guys. White's my favorite color, so when he rocked this, I was losing my mind. Then when we got it from Mattel, I mean, my God, does it, does it show how much I love the attire by how many of the figure I actually own? Uh, I could use this for custom sets, fix-up sets. Um, anything I want. So fantasy attire is probably coming up for one of these, but beautiful looking figure in the white and gold. And then I think we're down to our last two figures. First up we have our truth and I don't know if this is the Elite 2 or the Elite 10. I think it's the Elite 2 and that's pretty cool. This makes my third Elite or truth of my collection. Very nice head scan. Actually this head scan was used a lot to make a Velveteen Dream if you guys can see that. I can definitely see it in there. Um, really good pants here. I would have like six R-Truths, but I think I used two of them to make Hardy Boys because I didn't know when we would get, you know, Hardy Boy Elite. So uh, I made that a long time ago, like in 2015 or 16. I started, uh, I used one, uh, two of my R-Truths to make uh, Hardy Boys custom. So I probably have way more, but you know, it is what it is. So we have R-Truth there with his necklace and all. And then the final figure that we have is an Elite Kane, and it is uh, the Elite 19, or is it different? I think, I don't know. Uh, somebody help me out down below. Which Elite Kane is this? I can't figure it out, but it is a nice Elite Kane. I believe I have this already, but this makes the second one of my collection, and the more the merrier, right? So we do have more Elite Canes to add to the collection. Beautiful flame pattern going down, and another 
uh, Elite Kane to add to the collection. So we got a slew of Elite figures here from my boy, the 2019 kid. Huge shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much again for the big box of Elite figures. Thank you so much, bro, for the epic box there. And another thing, actually, that we picked up on this episode of My Damn Hauls, you guys aren't going to believe it, but I got a haul from Ringside just the other day. I believe it was yesterday or the day before. And you guys won't even guess what the freak I picked up, but I did grab four more Top Talents Finn Balors. Yes, I have an absolute obsession. This makes 13 total Top Talents Finn Balors in my collection. Uh, I bought eight, or I got eight on Christmas Day. I opened them up from my family, from my wife and my brother. And uh, I bought four more for myself because they were having the New Year's sale, so I figured not uh, go ahead and pick up four more. That makes 12. That way we can uh, make all his non-demon attires and stuff like that. Uh, there's actually one. It's this one right here. Take a look at this head scan. This is absolutely messed up, man. Look at this right here. If we zoom in here, look at his nose, bro. He is literally, the, sh the tip of his nose is like shaved off. Can you guys see that? It literally looks like somebody dremeled his nose, and then he's missing hair right there and right there. Is that not messed up, man? What is, and what is this on the back of his neck? What What is that? I mean, that is just total messed up, man. Look, I guess you order enough, but you're, you're eventually gonna get one with a dremeled nose. And then he's got this stuff going on on his chest. I mean, my God, the quality control issues. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for all of the figures we got here today. We got the four top talents, Finn Balor's from ringside. We also got this slew of elite figures from my boy, the 2019 kid. Thank you so much, bro. Again, guys, go. Uh, thank him or hit him up, whatever you want to do. I don't think he has a WWE figure page, but he was just a loyal subscriber and fan that just wanted to donate to the channel and everything like that. I'm knocking ish over. But thank you guys so very much for watching this episode of My Damn Halls, episode number 59. If you missed episode 14 of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys, go back on the channel to yesterday's video and check that out. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.